five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Ramble, and I am your host, Alex Benham. We go until midnight tonight, and here we go. I'm sorry, I had trouble getting the show started tonight. Every every night I fuck up. Every night I fuck up, and I, I all of a sudden I get my audio from you know, from the internet, from somewhere else, and I don't know where it's coming from, and it drives me crazy, and then and then girlfriend and I had a fight before we went on tonight, you know, and uh, uh, by the way, uh, there she is, folks, right I'm over here. there. She's right over there, <laughs> folks. Uh, she's there. She's there. She decided to grace us with her presence tonight. Yes. Which yeah. I like to do every once in a while, just yeah. to let it, you know that I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. It's I nice. haven't left. It's nice to know that she's still here, and uh, we have the same old split screen. Ah. Uh. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, no, I just, you know, I, every night this week, I have tried to get this show on right, and every night I have fucked up. It's cool getting and, older. And last night I didn't fuck up, but at the end of the show I fucked up. So tonight, well, if you gotta fuck up. It's best to do it at the end. Yeah. So I, 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 I have, I have. So there. What, what? So there. Yeah. Move the mic a little closer. Closer. Yeah. How's yeah. that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good. Good. You don't have those little pieces of paper anymore. You do it on yours. Yeah. Yeah. I do only because it, I don't know if it's as bad over there, but over here the table rumbles slightly. Does it? From, maybe not as much as it used to. We have to, so but, much equipment there. But from computers and things like that, so yeah, yeah. So. I'm just here with the monitors. Yeah, well, yeah, you're just there with the monitors. With the monitors. Yeah. Well, in a moment, did you already? Did he already do his thing? Who's? Oh, I wasn't looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably did it already. Yeah, he's very fast. He is. He, you know. Uh, yeah. So anyway, ah. so anyway, so I. Uh, uh, it was. It was. Uh, uh, again, I fucked up to her. All right, those things happen. Well, you know, so my attitude is... Uh, Let it go. I'll just start it over again. I didn't rush. I just said, okay, I'll just I'll get it on eventually. I didn't open my mouth. I just sat here. Yeah, yeah, you just sat there. <laughs> anyway, so how are you doing? Oh, hanging in there. I'm taking off tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's a mental health day. A mental health day. Mental health day. Yeah. Now, can I complain about something? What did I do now? Uh, here it comes. Okay. Yeah, uh-oh. Look in back of you. I put it on backwards. No, I don't care that you put it on backwards. That is a, that is a cur that is a what what is it a curtain? A shear. A shear that comes down. So you just fold it over. Well, I I put it up the way it was so the air conditioning can come through. So you just fold it over the loop. I'll lower it no. so you can just put the curtain over the loop. What do you mean? You'll lower it. I'll lower the rod so you could just fold the fabric over the rod. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Just why don't you leave it the way I left, put it? Where well, I, I washed had, them. Where I, I don't had know the, where they were. You had it all wrinkled up. No, I didn't have it wrinkled up. I had it very nicely on the shelf there. What shelf? On the shelf. You know. Anyway, we'll talk about this you later. See, I mean, see what happens if I turn on the air conditioning? <laughs> Watch that. Why are you turning on the air conditioning? It's a little warm in here. How about the fan? The, oh, you know something? Maybe that's the reason it's been warm in here. For some reason, that fan got turned off. I don't know why. So It anyway. gets turned off because somebody picks up the remote and pushes off. I, maybe I did it one night when it was really cold in here or something. We haven't had heat yet. Huh? We haven't had heat yet. And no. we have this nor'easter right now that's happening. Mm -hmm. So the winds are just flapping around. Well, you know, I never turn the heat on in the studio here. And we never turn it on in the bedroom. It's so fucking hot in there. No, but the heat we turn, we have on. In the bedroom? Yeah, the the, the radiator, absolutely. Radiator? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, because we can always open the window to moderate it. That's true. See? That's true. That's um, where the pussy would sit. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
What? The pussy would sit up there. The, the, pussy, the pussy would sit up there? Right. Why, you sit up there? Our pussy. Oh, you uh, Our adopted princess. The princess. The she, princess. She hasn't been around in a while. No. Uh, and it doesn't look like she's going to As Natalia a- says, I gave her my cat, and she, they returned a, a, prin, a, a diva. A what? A diva. Uh, we, we, we gave back a diva. I just had to turn the audio up here. Uh-huh. Everything I do is wrong now. Well, I just, you know what it is? It's this fucking drug I'm taking. I, I just don't. I, everything's kind of a mystery to me now. Well, you maybe know? I go. Is that the button I push for the right well, thing? It's you know? called making lists. Yeah, well, I live on lists. I've got to. I've got to work this out so that I. My office. I have like an ongoing list. Really? I do. Yeah. And then there's something with my browser that I. I don't have anything open particularly. Uh, but Why did it, these get all puffy? Huh? Why? Th- feel this. What? They've always been no, puffy. The, yours are. They've always been puffy. Just this one chair. They've always been puffy. Huh. But anyway, so I I uh, I have my browser on, and somewhere the audio was coming through. Couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Have it's like no Earthlink. Idea. It's like Earthlink. You have no idea. Well, now you've got a problem. <laughs> I've got a major problem. Now here's here's what happens. Apple. It, it, it is really lately fucking up with their with their uh, updates and okay, shit but like let that. me just preface it by saying my first email address ever was Earthlink. Yeah. So that's how far back it goes. Okay, so is, is, you have not had this problem till you upgraded. No, till the fixer of the upgrade. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Remember when Mini wasn't working? Oh, that that's, was for the watch. Right, but the watch now, when I put the watch on, it says, give me your password for Earthlink. <laughs> and on my phone. Well, that I don't understand, because we went, I went everywhere. everywhere. Okay, I went everywhere to try and find where she might have had an Earthlink link. Account. And I found one on your on your Somewhere. computer. And we got and rid so of it. And so I got rid of it, because you don't need it. That, right. and it had the NYCC address We got well. rid of that. We got rid of that, and I figured that might do it. It didn't. No. Somewhere, the uh, it it's the Apple ID that you're using. But it, my ID is just okay, Mills at I, I know, com. on everything else except the phone. <laughs> And the phone, it keeps asking you for that, uh, for that. Uh, uh, and password. it asks me before I even see Minnie. Now, if I go online and I go to uh, um, Earthlink and I go and look for your email or ask to be signed on with your email, it says there's no such account. Huh. So how do you have an account that it's asking for that doesn't exist. And we're talking like way over 20 years, easily. Yeah, but I mean, we've tried every password or whatever, but the fact is that email address doesn't exist, but that's the name they have for your Apple ID, because, but somewhere, not on your computer. Not, but way back when, when I started with Apple, yeah. I mean, that's what I was using. I guess I have to make an appointment the, with, does, at the Genius does Bar. Does it do the same thing at the Apple, st- uh, uh, on the iPad? No. See, it should. Why? Because it's your Apple ID, according to them. No, it's never happened on that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. But I think some of the apps are old and I have to get rid of them. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's an app somewhere there. But, yeah. 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 Now there, see, you there solved the go. problem and because I'm taking all these drugs and I'm I, I Well, we I've haven't lost, really solved the problem I, yet. I, we just said I've, maybe. I've lost my ability. <laughs> you know. You know, it's called getting older. I don't like to say old. Older. Older is gentler. Older is older. gentler yeah. or old, older. Yeah. I don't know that I buy that, but you know. Old. But the thing is, you may older. be absolutely right. It, it, but we got to figure out what app it is. I got to start getting rid of some of them. Why don't you get rid of every app you don't use? Ah, well, I don't know what I use until I use it. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> we could go through them now, and we probably find at least ten in the first twenty. I've deleted a lot already. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe if you get rid of one of them, it'll it'll be the the one. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Well, you know, I mean, I I but these yours are mine. Those are mine. Okay, just asking. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to ask how much time we have left? How much time do uh, we have uh, left, uh, Schwarzman? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, 
anyway, I have it's all 1017. The, I have all the clocks over here. I have the the new little one here. Well, I'm playing hooky tomorrow, mm -hmm. and um, so therefore. Why are you playing hooky tomorrow? I just need a day off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you took had a day off on Monday. Well, that doesn't count. So you have a three day <laughs> week. You've gotten yourself down to a three day week. I wish. I wish. No, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as if it was five yeah, days. Yeah. I and mean, I did a lot of busy work. Well, I went to the dentist today. I know, my dentist. Yeah, well, m now my dentist right, as well. Who got you there? Well, yes. And I got to tell you, um, uh, they, uh, they clean, they, for, first of all, she filled, did a filling. Is this the update, the medical update? Yeah. A small little filling. One. It is the fastest filling I've ever had done. She just zip, 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 zip. Two. That was it. And then I had to go for the cleaning. Three. And I've decided the cleaning, if, I, if I'm if i afraid of dentistry, it's the cleaning I'm afraid of. It's not the dentistry itself. You know, because I was in that chair for the longest time and she was there. Here we go. She was digging deep in Here there. Here we and, go. You know, and then, then I got to come back again and How clean. How do you guys put up weeks. with him? Another three weeks. I, uh, three months I Help have to come me. back for another cleaning. This is and why then I'll I'm, say it's then 10, I'm gonna get the 10, in, The implant for the tooth that's missing back oh here because it's Where's so huge. Violin? And do you think I have cancer? Yes. Okay, well, I, that answers that question. Yeah, you're just not gonna die of it. You mean the prostate thing? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you first. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But that. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know if I, if I have cancer or not. They, they've yet to find it. By the time you're 90, you'll definitely have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you have a hundred percent chance of getting prostate cancer by At, the time you're, you're 90. You're 90. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah, but you know who has a, had a his prostate removed? Yeah. What's his name on the? Chris Matthews. Yeah. How old is he? Yeah, he's 73. So he's he's in that age group where it it lessens. Yeah, well, know? Larry, my friend, the one that died from it, he was like in his like early sixties. I think he had just turned sixty. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it was very aggressive. Yeah, you know. Well, very aggressive at that age. But yeah. It, I mean, you know, why they remove the prostate? Uh, you know, usually they don't even after um, seventy. It's even suggested not to do PSA tests. You know. So I don't know, he may have had an aggressive form, who knows? Yeah, it's like some doctors say, older women shouldn't get, you know, well, go for a, a, Phil, a, Phil uh, has kept having PSA tests right? after his prostate was removed. After? Yeah, uh, just to see how the, PS, if the PSA isn't coming back. And I'm going, and then they found it coming back. Cells. So now they're worried about it. He's got cells, right? Yeah, they're worried about it. Because he doesn't have a prostate, right? You don't have a prostate. How do you have prostate-specific antigens? Cells. That, that sounds like a Trump disease, you know? <laughs> oh, God, let's not even go there today. You know, the problem with Trump is he's going to get off on this. He's but, such slippery nylon Trump. I don't know. It's getting pretty, you know, when his own people are now ratting on him. They're, yeah, but no other than Romney, and I have to give him a lot of credit, he's been good. No one else has opened their mouth. Yeah, yeah. just such. I mean, if Romney shits. ran for president tomorrow, I'd I would vote, vote for him. Yeah, absolutely, for him. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's really decent. He's the only Republican. Who's, he's honest. He's decent. Well, I think because he's a Mormon, he has a real sense of honesty. Well, yeah. You know, and he he finds this objectionable, and he should, yeah. as we all should. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I. Uh, there was some. There was a Republican and a Democrat hearing Mulvaney. Is it yeah. as in Mulvaney. Mulvaney talking today when he opened up and just gave it all away? So that and said that that uh, that in fact uh, that's what happened. What quid ha pro. Quid, yeah. uh, he did do quid pro quo. Yeah. So the Democrat says to the Republican, I forget who it was. Oh, you now you've got a problem. How are you going to fix this one? <laughs> well, what happened was later in the day, Mulvaney wrote him notes. Well, he kind of back. Backtracking on what he had said, but you know, you can't backtrack can't, on that. That's there's, bullshit. There's no, there's no backsies yeah. on this deal. And um, Giuliani's lawyer that he had for a quick moment <laughs> quit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I don't even think it was a day. Maybe it was a day. That was about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I mentioned last night that I, my favorite uh, Trumpism lately was, uh, 
it was about something, and as usual, he says, everybody says, and even some other people. <laughs> well, wait a minute, how does everybody say something and... Plus even, whatever's and left e over. Even, even other people. Oh, what I liked is when he was with the Italian um, president, mm -hmm. he said, you know, America and Italy go back a long ways. We were there during the Roman Empire. He said that, I swear to God. The United States was there during the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. We go back to the Roman Empire, he said. He actually said that. What did he mean by that? That we go back a long way. <laughs> we, go, we go back a long, long way. Well, the, the best one was the, uh, the woman who... who uh, uh, you know, uh, killed a motorcycle right, in right. England. She came to the... And then uh, she... Uh, her, used her, her, di her diplomatic immunity to get on a plane and get the hell out of Dodge. And then... Um, the mother he, and father. He, he then was trying to defend her, saying that I know how bad it can be over there the, driving on those well, roads because... <laughs> I've uh, done it. <laughs> the, 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 the roads are on the other side of the street or something yeah. like that. And he said, I've done he, it. No, he says... And and I know I I've done that. And you what? You you killed a motorcyclist while you were driving in England. What we'd like to know is when's the last time Donald Trump ever drove? You know. I want to know when when he's going to jail. Well, you know he could, he could. Uh, I although I don't think America wants to send a president to jail. Okay, there's just something, something that doesn't work about something that. nasty about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, we don't want to do just that. get him the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but uh, you, yeah. And then today we lost Elijah Cummings. Yeah, uh, he died. Um, uh, long time, good guy. Yeah, you know, real good guy. And I, uh, I, Trump I, puts out this statement written by one of his staff how great he was, and then somebody underneath published what he said maybe a month or two about how disgusting he was and how Marilyn was full of shit and rats. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only that, the infested rats were in apartments owned by Trump's son-in-law. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, he's a hypocrite too. He's an asshole. God, I, you know, I mean, I, what I feel bad for America about is that they're going to have to live with this long after you and I are gone. It's true. Because we have lost our currency in the world. We have. No one trusts us. Yeah. Nobody. And, you know, we can't be trusted to stand by our... And it's moved right into somebody like Putin's arms. I mean, he's already has troops going now down there to take care of it. You know, Turkey now has extended their borders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the yeah. Kurds are dying. And Trump still has his hotels in, uh, in, Turkey. in Turkey. Yeah. So, anyway, I wonder if he owns those hotels or whether that just has his name on it. Probably. Because he, 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 he licenses it out. His name out. Yeah. And then today, it turns out that they're going to have the G7, which was supposed to be the G6, but Trump, since he's the head of, of putting it together. This time. Yeah. In 2020. He's, he's been made the host of the party, uh, said, I want Putin there, so it's going to be the G7. Right. And right. they're having it in one of his hotels that's the lost... Doral. Doral, that's lost 70% of the business yeah, since because, he was elected. Since he was elected. So um, uh, everybody's bothered by that, you know. Well, I mean, talk about making money off of your title. I mean, Ivanka and her husband have made $94 million since he's been in office. How much? <laughs> $94 million. And she's gotten 20-some licenses on, on dress things in China. <laughs> oh, boy. It's horrible. No, it really is horrible. It is terrible. But, you know, we'll hear from Phil tonight excusing his behavior. Yeah. You know. And uh, I don't know how you can, to tell you the truth. Really? You he's... know. I just, it's just getting, it's so sad. It's, it's really. It's sad to see what's happened to this country. Yeah. I mean, democracy is such a fragile thing. Well, it and is. it's all checks I and balances. I didn't think it was that fragile. I remember in the night he won, I said to you, but don't worry. You know, nobody can ruin this democracy. Duh. 
Uh, I mean, every everything that Obama has done, he has taken off. Every provision, every regulation, he is like totally clear. They want to do, they want to wipe out the EPA. <laughs> they want to close it down. Yeah, what's, what is exactly onerous about environmental protection? Well, it's better to make gas and oil and uh, and pour the waste in the well, rivers. Well, I love the fact that he is wedded to coal, which is an old technology, you know. He's opened up some of the national parks for drilling. I, I think if you if you let Trump do it, he'd he'd bring back the rotary telephone. <laughs> God, he's yeah. so bad. Because we got more exercise doing that. <laughs> you know, it's it's terrible. I don't know. What 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 do we say about him? I don't know, but it's time to open up the. Uh, do no, you want it me to, We got about two minutes. Do you want, do you want me to keep oh, a got, split screen, or should I mosey on over? You should mosey on over. Not now. I'm just getting ready. Not now, so you can see the screen. You can't see the screen from there, can you? From here? Yeah. No. 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 Roll me a, over. Wait, wait, you just over. go back. Roll me over, lay me down, and do it again. Did you, that was one of the drinking songs at Penn State. Really? Yeah. What do you mean the rape, rape college? Uh, rape, rape university? That was Rape Little Boys. Rape Little Boys University. <laughs> um, so anyway. Okay, if you want to come over here, uh, I, I got to turn on the, uh, you uh, do the your Skype. Thing. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here she comes, folks. There she goes. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, hold on a second. I got to. I got to do a few things here. I got to open up the Skype lines. You're, you're, you're. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, I'm half off the thing. Huh? I'm, I'm off the... What? Um, well, and move over. Well, you got to... Then move over. over. <laughs> Jeez. You got to Oh, mighty. What? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What am I trying to do Just calling. What am I doing? Am You're going to uh, open up the... I'm opening up the Skype lines. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Here, Here we, we go. Here we go. da 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 here, I'll turn that yeah, off because then we don't have to have. I think the, Penn State's playing Iowa this week. You know that was rumbling over there. I gotta, I gotta put paper under there. But you, oh, you really? let me know at the last moment. That well, you were I just do noticed they had all these little paper bits. You never do the show too. anymore, so I don't give a I shit. I just want to be know. a visitor every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll just, I'll put that under there. There, there you we go. go. Well, I, I just want to be an every once in a while visitor. Oh, really? Okay. Well, the phone lines are open, folks. If you uh, and want to call, uh, you're you're more than welcome to. And oh, there we go. Here comes Phil. Here, here comes Phil. And uh, who else was the other one? There were two of them. Yeah, there was just Phil. Ah, there he is. It was just Phil. Yeah. Oh, Hi. Oh, okay. All right. Hi. All right. Yeah, you got a half hour of Trump bashing in. Hey. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Oh, wait a minute. I got a, I got, I, Not a it, half an hour because we had to hear about Alex's uh, medical update. Hold on a second. I got to get you on screen here first. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, I, I go. slept till a quarter after I took a nap. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I only got 15 minutes of Trump bashing. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Well, it's good. I'm glad you got some Trump bashing. All right. Uh, so are you repainting your medical update or it's only for uh, limited to listeners? No, there's no limit. There's no, He's done uh, it already. There's no medical update. No I, uh, I, uh, I went to the dentist today and got my, my last visit. We have $1 left in the insurance. Until yeah, January. you know, I, I'm surprised you left a dollar on the table. Yeah, we left a dollar on tip. the table. Listen, that's pretty good. <laughs> To leave a dollar yeah. on the table. To leave oh, a dollar on the going. table, don't you know? Yeah. Uh, no, we, we left a, a, a dollar on the table, which was really terrific. Hey, Scott. Uh, and, hey, and all I had to pay again. Hey. And, and also, I had overpaid some, uh, some uh, what do you call it? What do they call them? Premiums. Uh, premiums or whatever the... Uh, your, 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 your portion. Yeah, my portion. Uh, you get those back uh, hello, or you hello, get the credit? Yeah, well, they gave they gave me the credit, so I didn't have to pay anything today. I got deductible. A, I got a deductible. deductible. Yeah, I had paid more in my deductible to them than I they should have gotten. So they figured out how much it was, and they said, Ta -da. "It's gratis." There, folks. Oh, you know. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Scott, is that is that one of those Patagonia uh, uh, sweater type things? I, I you wear. I got uh, it. I got it at Sam's Warehouse. Then it, was, <laughs> then it is in a Patagonia. That's no <laughs> damn shit. I, it says Eddie. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie Bauer. Eddie yeah. Bauer. Oh, Eddie Bauer. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a good yeah. sports store. I like it. I, I've i gone to Eddie Bauer. I like their stuff. Some of your pajamas, oh. some of your flannels are from Eddie Bauer. Some of my flannels? Yeah. Yes. This flannel yeah. from Eddie Bauer? I don't know. Do you see my flannel? Yeah, you, you, mm. we, Ooh. Yeah, do you have your flannels on tonight? Uh, Lift that leg a little. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait. Uh. Uh, here here, here, here's my flannel. Here's my flannel. And there's his flannels. You don't. You're not. I have little dogs on mine. No, oh, hey. Mm. I have little dogs on mine. Yeah. Oh, you just I got the green head. ones. Alex has the red. Hmm. He yeah. has the red. Yeah, I have the Oop. red. Anyway, so. Uh, uh, so uh, anyway, um, uh, how are you, Scott? We haven't seen you in a while, Scott. Well, I, I figured I had to call in since uh, Phil's brother's down here at a doing a rally. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Dr. Trump. Yes, he's uh, <laughs> he's uh, you know they even had shots of the rally outside the rally. Oh, of and course. You had all the people they're watching on TV oh. monitors. You know, I, I, I always thought that when he had these rallies, it was just the people behind the screen. Yeah. But this put. I mean, as, as 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 loony as we think Phil is, the people in Texas have him beat hands over. <laughs> it, hey, I mean, it's true. They, they were waiting in line since Tuesday. Yeah, but you, have, <laughs> you have to realize they're they look upon these things more as comedy shows, comedy concerts. No, uh, these people are nuts. Yeah. Hey, Scott. If you uh, if you let me know that you wanted to go, I, I would have loaned you my Trump hat. Well. Well, the, the thing is, even Phil probably wouldn't stand in a line nah. for you know out out for two days to see Trump, but he would pay a homeless person to stand in line for him. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> would you go, would you, Phil? Would you go to a Trump rally? Uh, only if it was convenient. Only if I knew I had a guaranteed seat and a pre and a photo pass. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't go. No. Nah. If you had to wait in line, you would not go. No, absolutely. So not. that's how much you care about that piece of shit. In today's no, I'll times, I'll spend the money, but I wouldn't go to. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, wait in line. Hmm. In today's and, in today's times, John Lithgow, the actor, compared Trump to bad politician and bad entertainer. <laughs> you know, he said he couldn't make. Well, it he thinks way. he's a stand-up comic. Yeah, now. that's his whole thing when he it's gets pretty up good, there. actually. No, he's not. Oh my he's God. not funny at all. He's embarrassingly it, bad. Why? Because he's not making any Trump jokes. He's not making any you know. jokes. <laughs> you know, he's a joke. He made Trump jokes. You'd like him. He's a little bit self-effacing. Uh, you know, he um, said something tonight about uh, twittering out uh, something, a uh, thank you to somebody there. Uh, that uh, he says, yeah, at least you don't have to make a phone call, and you don't even want to get a phone call. He you says see to the his, guy, you see his. Uh, uh, um, uh, Cummings uh, uh, tweet? Uh, no. Uh, very, I know very, he didn't like Cummings. It, and, it was very uh, nice. Wasn't crazy it it was him. very nice. And, you know, we've lost a great person and blah, blah, blah. And uh, a couple of months ago, he was calling him a piece of shit. And that Maryland was... Uh, was Fested with rats. Rat Fested with rats, which, by the way, are all in the apartments owned but by... By uh, uh, Jared's family. No, yeah. Not all of them. A lot did, of them. Did you go downstairs in your apartment building lately? What do you mean? We don't have rats. With the rats that aren't there in uh, in Baltimore. We don't have rats. Are, we don't have rats. We have cats. We have cats well, that eat the cats rats. Because you got rid yeah. of the rats. <laughs> but you had rats. What well, what happened was mice, they had mice. rats in the uh, Same thing. Uh, mice Baltimore. in the uh, in the uh, basement. So they went out mice and, they, and they, big? they got a bunch of cats, like stray cats, and, and herded yeah. them into the basement. And, and, oh, the feral cat, cats. and the yeah, cats, that, the cats true. killed the rats and scared the mice away. Okay, are they peeing? Wait a minute. Wait, that, well, here, that's not the problem. It's the not peeing. It's spraying. It's, the smell it's, of it. it's yeah. spraying. It's sperm. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, and the one? smell. <laughs> and I think they finally got rid of the cats. Uh, I think just, they just finally got rid of the cats. Get rid of the cats, right? They got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they got dogs, and the dogs ate, and then they had to get lions, and then you know, lions and it's like, tigers. It's like a, it's oh like boy. it's it's like a Tex Avery cartoon. <laughs> yeah. My my kids had this book when they were young called "If a Mouse Had a Cookie," 
And uh, so if you if you give or uh, if you give the mouse a cookie, then it wants milk, and then it wants a napkin, and uh, you know, uh, it's a very cute story. Yeah, kids like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I know that story. Yeah. <laughs> Except my kids liked it when they were 24. <laughs> really? He, no. <laughs> yeah, it, but it goes on to different things. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to look that up. Don't yeah, but it, but it, but the fact is that the uh, the um, 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 you know he called Elijah Cummings a piece of shit a couple of weeks ago, and now he and it doesn't look like he even wrote the tweet. No, it looked I'm like sure it one yeah. of his staff. I'm one of sure. his staff because he got at huh. Got hacked for a nice tweet. Yeah. You know? How do you feel about the fact I, that all his people are turning against him? I, uh, what people? Mick? Uh, Mick Mulvaney? Mulvaney? Yeah. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. He said it I was, don't, I don't, he said I, I it was quid this. pro quo. Get okay. over And then he said something to the effect like, well, that's how politics, that's how, uh, Diplomatic uh, politics are. Politics plays in everything that's diplomatic. Oh, yes. look at the guy getting All the interviewed time. today. And, uh, ah, look who's there. Anything. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm playing <laughs> hooky tomorrow. So I, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to lose an hour of sleep, but. So okay. the bank is Marjorie Free tomorrow? Marjorie Free. Yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, but uh, Scott, and then the other thing today was uh, the guy, was, this guy was the ambassador to you, to the Ukraine. Soklin, something yeah. like that? Yeah, the he, one, the, he, he, was, turned, he turned against Well, he him. was a big, he, he, he gave, it was a big donation and became the ambassador and knew nothing. And the woman who was fired... Yeah. Biden's a lot of them, they, 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 they complained because he was so unprepared uh, for the job. Yeah. So uh, I understand that these. Uh, you know how Phil just kind of passes by this stuff? No, no, I'm, I'm giving you a thing. I understand these interviews are all done in closed uh, uh, quarters session, or session. Yeah. Closed session. Yeah. session. And and that nothing. I gets thought out Trump fired except, Sessions. <laughs> he did. Yeah, no, nothing gets out except what the Democrats want to selectively leak. So uh, yeah, that's you know, bullshit, Phil. Because it's Republicans sitting in those meetings too. So just no Republicans. Oh, well, you don't know that. You don't know no, if there listen, aren't. Those they, committees uh, they, are made they, up of both. No, there's Republicans there was in a there. Guy, of course. There was a guy who was on the committee. I forgot no. what his name was. He went in there. They threw him out. Oh, Phil. Well, he was not on that committee. He was on another committee that he didn't he didn't belong to be in there. That's well, why there, he, was, there Phil, are no Republicans Phil. in these closed door things. No, there were two. It's a it's there a kangaroo two. court. You're wrong. You're wrong, You're wrong. Phil. Take a drink. Uh, You're wrong. wrong. Kangaroo. Prove, prove, prove it, yeah. Phil. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Prove it. Uh, you prove it. No, you, you prove, prove it. You not. said it. You prove it. All right. I'll, I'll prove it. You guys talk. He's going online. He's, he's going he's online going to on to uh, talking gotta. points for Republicans who are Trump fans dot com. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Actually, on Lawrence O'Donnell, they were talking to one of the Democrats that were in there, mm -hmm. and he he couldn't say anything about it. But Lawrence asked him, "Well, how how are your uh, uh, Republican cohorts in the committee handling this?" He says. You know when they were talking about the Mick Mulvaney uh, quid pro quo thing. Oh, he said. And, he said. And he, he said. He said they were so flabbergasted trying to defend this other thing that they they didn't even hear about it. I guess so. They were there. Yeah, yeah. they're there. They're in every committee meeting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Boy, we don't have any people watching tonight. Boy. That's because I'm here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys. Are you going to go? Yeah, that's Good. 45 minutes. <laughs> hey, I, I just want to say Penn State plays Iowa. Yes, that's going to... Whoa, what happened? I don't have my Iowa shirt on, but... Yeah, they're playing I, Iowa. Yeah, yeah, my... Uh, I, I grew up really close to Iowa City, so... Oh, I grew up close to Penn State, so there. <laughs> <laughs> right near next to... You went to Rape State, right? I went to State. Penn State. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Who was the guy that's in jail for diddling Sandusky. little boys? Sandusky. Sandusky. Yeah. 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 All right. He's still alive. Uh, yeah. And he's in jail. Uh, yeah. He's in prison. Okay. And I mean, they he's, took, he's, he's happy. <laughs> he's in Happy Valley. <laughs> you know, they took down the statue of, to that uh, coach. And, yeah. Uh, uh, didn't uh, Joe Penn Paterno? Joe Paterno. Joe 
Paterno. Did they lose their um, uh, they, ability to play? They for lost a year it or for two? a couple no. of years. No, no they no. did. They were penalized for a couple of years. They couldn't recruit. They couldn't recruit. Right, and now they're seventh in the country. Ta da! Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, they were getting down to the point where they would have picked me. You know, when I was a kid, and they were picking teams. I was the kid that they picked after the kid in the wheelchair. Last. And then they said, do we still have to really take Meyer? <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, can't we have the, can't we have the kid so, with yeah. polio? <laughs> Say goodbye to her. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye, <laughs> uh, yeah. Pamela even say goodbye. She, it, it, she was there. She yelled. Oh, there, 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 there she is. There's her hand or something. Oh, wait. wait a minute. Where, where, where? Hey, is she in her bra and underpants? Is she okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See ya. I got all my clothes on tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was a big hey. night on our show. Yeah. 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 I'm to get some viewers. Yeah. Well, we're up to, we're up to, we're up, we gained two people. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I lost yeah. five pounds, by the way. Let's hear it for me. Yeah, gray matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I always keep a really good tag on my uh, on my weight to make mm -hmm. sure that I'm okay. All right, you know. And uh, I'm. Uh, what are you at right now, sir? I'm Can at one ninety-five. All right, that's. I'm about one ninety-four. Okay. But you're, I'm a little fatter because you're a little taller. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, Two nineteen. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get back to, uh, but how tall are you, Phil? Five eight. See, oh boy. Yeah. He's, he's more round than he is tall. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I. Uh, um, uh, a roly poly. I, for some reason, had gained up to somewhere oh, almost up to 199. Yeah. So now I'm down to 195, and I'm happy that it's going down. You know. So. Yeah. You know, I just. Okay. I just, I, I, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Huh? Uh, just just this one point I'm still reading, but at 5.55 p.m., Mulvania says earlier comments were misconstrued, says there was no quid pro yeah, quo. Yeah, yeah. And guess who made him write that? Uh, Mike DeBoe? No. DeBoe. <laughs> uh, no. Probably. No. Guess who made him write that and come out with that? It was a written statement. It was on, it was on stationary. Well, he came out with a statement and says, yeah, let yeah. me be no, clear, no, there was let, absolutely no quid pro no, quo. No, no, he said that after he said there was quid pro quo, so he's trying to backtrack because Trump told him, you better backtrack or you're fired. He's well, he, fired he, anyway. He's fired anyway. Uh, the president never told me to withhold any money until the Ukrainians did anything related to the server. Uh, the only reasons they were holding the money was because of concern of lack of support of other nations, concerned over corruption. So uh, all that wrong. is bullshit. Take a drink, no, Alex. No, no, we're not wrong. He did say you what are. we said. I got the proof. He, he said on the TV in live in front of everybody. He said it was misconstrued. Misconstrued. How do you misconstrue him saying there was no, there was uh, no quid, there was uh, what was it? Because that, it was there leaked. was quid pro quo. No, it was what leaked mean, in leaked? a democratic Wait a minute. What do you mean leaked? He, did he it on was TV? hung jury. He was in front of a podium talking to the press when he said this, in Phil. The press. So he Trump said he Trump. made a mistake. There was no. He answered a question incorrectly. For Twenty-nine minutes. He repeated the same thing over and over. Yeah. Okay. He uh, made a mistake. <laughs> no, not according to this. Please. It's at five fifty-five or uh, this today. Freak. By the way, <laughs> I, 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 funny, funny story. I, I, I had my t teeth worked on today. My tooth in my in my uh, dentist is filling my tooth. Smile. Apparently, Let's see how close it is. Apparently, she ponies. had a bad lunch or something because her stomach was grumbling. Mm. <laughs> I'm, 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 and I've got my earphones on. You know, I'm listening to music. And I'm hearing. Oh, oh. Yeah. So now, uh, is your teeth? You're trying to make them look like Tony's. What? All, I, no, I, 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 all my teeth, all my teeth right now, except uh, all my teeth, except for the crowns, some chip crowns and stuff like that, are perfect. I, you know, I don't have a cavity in my mouth. I don't have a problem uh, going on there, and it's all been taken care of. And uh, you know, you're um, going to get Invisalign for the bottom teeth. 
No, I think I'm. A, it's a little late in life for me to get Invisaligns. Huh. You, know. you know, it'll help with your new career. Have you applied for a Shepard Smith's uh, uh, position yet? Yes, I have, and they laughed me out of the office. Okay, <laughs> I, I don't think there's much of a chance of that, Phil. No. Yeah, yeah. but so, I'd, Phil, I'd be good if we if we get a job work for Trump. And typically, we'll be fired in about three weeks or whatever. What, what kind of benefits do we get from this? I might apply. Well, uh, you get the, uh, the the White House stationery that had your name on it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, but the, you get paid for this job, right? Some of them do. Some of them do. Giuliani I, doesn't. We yeah. get Giuliani for free, and we're paying him too much. Hey, hey, hey uh, Alex, do you yeah. think you could go on and be a pundit for the Republicans on Trump's new network you know, that he's going to start when I, he gets impeached? I was thinking about that today. You know, could I suddenly say to Fox, oh, I'm a Republican, and go on and praise Trump and do all the stuff I, I need to do? I could not do it. I couldn't fake it. Just do it like this. Praise Trump. Praise Trump. No, no. I mean, I, it, even even if I tried to do a rotten imitation of Phil, I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know? Just give us five minutes of a, your best effort. I That's couldn't. Right. I was thinking about I was oddly enough thinking about that. OK. And and I said to myself, I couldn't do it. And I know there are people over at Fox, for instance, who are taking positions that they don't believe simply because they want the job. Like Hannity, huh? Not like Hannity, but, uh, you know, who knows about a lot of those other people, especially the people like Judy, Harris Faulkner Judy or, and stuff whatever like her name that. is. Yeah, you know. Janine Pirro, you think about? Yeah. You know, oh, no, I think she's a cunt. That, that, <laughs> would, she, I think she's pro-Trump. I don't think she's uh, uh, an anti-Trump Yeah, imposter. she's a Trump, a Trump cunt. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I, I just, uh, I just, oh, it's just, it's. Um, you know, it's uh, who's who's that other guy uh, with the attention? Did Genova? Did Genova? Uh, he, I think he was an attorney or a judge or something, and he doesn't seem to be pro Trump lately. Uh, and he's one of the uh, Fox oh, yeah, pundits. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name now. That's not his name. It's uh... he's he's a guy who lost a lot of weight. Did he lose weight? Oh, he was the weight. judge, the judge guy. Yeah, uh, I think he was a judge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did Genoa was no? It's something like that. Hold on a second. I, mean, I yeah, I just saw he was just on my uh, tw Twitter when I pulled this up. It was a. Uh, uh, let me see here. Joe de Genoa. No, something. no, no, no. no. Well, that's not right. No, 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 no. no. Twitter, no. Twitter, Twitter. Let me see here. Um... Uh, it's not Don Bangino, Bangino. No, that uh, that no. he used to be on NRA TV. No, no, no. I no, I don't don't have him here. Joe um, DeGeno, DeGeno. No, you got you got it all wrong. You got you got something else in your brain. I, uh, I, judge, I, judge uh, I, uh, on Fox. I don't know on air personalities. Yeah. Uh, on air personalities. Yeah. I'm trying. Uh, we have all these names here. Yeah, sure. God, I have no no idea. No, uh, Andrew Napolitano. Oh, there he is. Napolitano. Yes, Andrew Napolitano. Still can't say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Napolitano. Uh, I don't think that's the one I was thinking of. Well, that's um, that's the guy who's the judge. You know. Uh, Wait a minute. Well, let me. Let me um, show, uh, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. No, Wait a minute. Where, where is this? Oh, uh, screen. I what? can't even pronounce it. Yeah. Oh, there, there we. Wait a minute. That isn't it. I'm, I'm looking for my thing that lets me put up a, uh, a screen. I guess I have to go to this page and. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we go. There, there he is, folks. Uh, 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 Judge Andrew P. Napolitano. Napolitani. Napolitano. 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 Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Okay, are you happy with that, folks? I hope you Joseph are. Joseph D. 
Genova. Uh, here's his Wikipedia page. Wait a minute. Um, he's a, a commentator on Fox w- News. Okay, what's his name? Uh, uh, first of Joseph, uh, uh, last of D I G N O V A. Uh, I there's nobody here by that name. Joseph D. There's, Gen- there's nobody here Ova. by that name, Phil. It says uh, he frequently appears as a commentator on Fox News. Um, let's see if there's anything else on him. Um, oh, he was a U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia, an independent counsel. Um, no, I, there's, there's no person by that name. He's made over 90 appearances. Okay, but he may just be like a guest occasionally on his shows. But he's not the guy you're thinking of. Uh, it's not the judge. Okay. No? no. All right. Yeah, here, uh, Joseph, here he is, uh, this guy. Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Joseph D. I, I, that's who I was thinking of. But, Maybe uh, they were replacing him because he might you, be more pro Trump you know, than the other. You're right. I, I was thinking of his name, but it was Andrew Napolitano. And I think it was Napolitano that is going anti Trump at the moment. No, he's just going patriotic. You know? No, some people are going anti Trump because they're Republicans. But they have a like like Romney have a true sense of honesty and 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 decency. I mean, the thing is that what you're seeing going on with um, with Romney uh, is a guy who, quite frankly, is Mormon and he believes in being honest, you know, and he thinks that uh, Trump is completely distrustful. So anyway, uh, you know, all right. all right. Got anything else to talk about? No, well, but that's what, what you were just saying there. What really disgusted me uh, personally, from my uh, religious views, mm-hmm. is that I recently found out that the Attorney General Bill Barr, mm-hmm. he's Catholic. He's a total lying asshole. Well, you wonder, I, you, you know, do wonder when you you know you're a Catholic and he's a Catholic, and you wonder how he can be the way he is being a Catholic. Yes. You know. I, 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 I can't understand it. How can you? But then yeah, again, I, I, then again, I, then know. again, some of your Catholics diddle young boys. So, you know, I they, mean. Yes, they do. But, <laughs> but they've been tempted by the devil that got into them. <laughs> They're just teaching them new tricks. You know, because yeah. I know how bad I am, okay? And the devil gets after me sometimes, you know, but mm-hmm. not so bad. He must really go after the priests and really mess with their minds. Now, so. I, I heard somewhere uh, uh, that the Catholic Church is considering allowing priests to marry. Is that uh, – uh, there, there was some something about uh, – the... I think I heard that. You heard that too? Yes, but it's not in the United States. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I heard that too. It's like in – yeah, it was like some place where there's like no priests or something like that because yeah. they, they want to be married. Russia. Yeah. Well, I would <laughs> well, say I, like I, maybe maybe maybe, like maybe you can uh, you can elucidate Scott about this kind of thing. I mean, why why is it the priests are not allowed to marry, and do you think it's a good idea? Well, the the reason that. The way I've always understood it is they're, they're not allowed to get married because back in the, you know, the 15, 1400s or whatever, the priests were getting all this money and they were and they were married back then. Right. Mm-hmm. They were they're all married and whatnot. And they had these kids and whatnot. And then when the priest would die, all the money that this priest got from basically taken from the church went to the kids, not to the church. So the church wanted all the money. So they said, okay, no more married priests, so no more inheritance and going out. So they, they kind of got away from it like could, that. Couldn't they take a vow of poverty and still get married? Well, they... Because they do take a vow of pro- poverty, don't not they? Well, well that's, that's like some monks and some, you know, some of the other... But... Wait, 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 if, uh, you have a wife uh, and, uh, if you have a wife and kids, you're automatically taking an oath of poverty. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true. Yeah. Especially if you I mean, get divorced. They, they get paid very little anyway, the priests. I mean, yeah. they only make maybe 40000 a year, but everything they got is paid for. Their housing, their food, and, you know, that's just basically fun money there. And forty k a year? Alex and I want that job. 
you know, you know they they uh, you rabbis you convert and go to the church, you know become a priest yeah, absolutely uh, I, hey I get on Fox and I'd be a Democrat <laughs> but uh, you know uh, it's rabbis uh, are married and seem to be able to do what they got to do uh, in in their uh, you know in the synagogues. And with the people that belong, I, you know, I don't, I don't see the conflict. Uh, so, of, so how do they uh, pass their money down to their? Do the they, kids get any money, inheritance, or whatever? Or? I, I so, only from salary. But Jeff wanted to say yeah, something. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of uh, them uh, are not men anymore. They're women. Oh, rabbis. Women, yeah. Rabbis. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But uh, there, there are you know many male rabbis. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and you know over the centuries, the these rabbis have been married and had families and uh, and, and synagogues that they uh, that they you know had followers or parishioners whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it didn't seem to you know create an inheritance issue or a uh, you know or anything like that. I so you know I I don't. You know, I know that the uh, nuns are supposed to be married to God. To they Jesus. wear a wedding ring. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Not to God. Jesus. Well, All right. God, Jesus is God, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not for us. <laughs> but, now you killed him. That's right. I got hey, enough trouble. I got enough. Tr Wait a minute. I got enough me. trouble with one wife. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, is that any kind of thing to do to Jesus for crying out loud? Maybe he could handle it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You know. Um, boy, there's nobody watching tonight. There's nobody calling tonight. Why am I doing this? Uh, you want me to make some disparaging statements about homosexuality and maybe you'll get some listeners? No, I, I don't think that'll do it. You know, but if uh, I, uh, and I mean, maybe in a half hour or so, I'll cut this thing short because uh, Jack isn't on tonight. So it doesn't matter when I sign off. You know. Why is Jack off? <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that would come along at some point. You know, um, I, I, oh, I I had to tell you hi hi uh, Lee press on hold on a second. How you doing, folks? Let me hi. Give, let, yeah. let me give Lee a spot here. Uh, let me see here. Where are we going to put him? Uh, Lee press on. There we go. Okay, and uh, we uh, go to that. There we go. Okay. Hi. All right. There we go. Um, um, there's Lee Press on. And uh, I got to tell you, Lee, uh, um, wait a minute. What was I going to say? I had something I want to say. And I, uh -huh. it, it was pertaining to you, I thought. And now I can't uh -huh. remember what it was I was trying to say. Just wanted to say greetings from uh, California on this, the 30th anniversary. Uh, 30 years ago today, we were rocked by the Louis Prima earthquake. I mean, the, the Loa Prima uh, 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 Prieta earthquake. Uh, yes, Prieta. That's right. Is that is that a smoking jacket? I, well, not at the moment. No, <laughs> no, I was smoking last time I was on your show. So <laughs> where were you when the earthquake uh, happened? I was, uh, I, was, uh, I was sitting on the living room couch yeah. chatting with a friend of mine who was at work at Northgate Mall at the moment, about about five miles away. We're going, blah, 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 and went, hey, we'll probably be cut off soon. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, not stopping. I, I was going down to Visadero Street in um, in San Francisco. Yeah. I was going down to Visadero Street, and I was... Um, Were you uh, in Pacific Heights or the marina? I was in the... I was, uh, I was coming out of the marina. I, was, I had gone over Pacific Heights. Oh, okay. Okay, and then I I came down over the uh, uh, the marina, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, down in uh, I, I came up over, and then I was going down to the other side, uh, and I'm just trying. Hold on a second. I just got to put. Did some you see there. any of the buildings falling, or uh, well, you know? well, what happened was I was with my then kind of girlfriend we had kind of broken up but we hadn't broken up that kind of thing it was very mm -hmm. strange oh now hold on a second what is what is that i put webhead in there oh i see that's tony 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 just came back i guess i guess that's it okay here here's webhead there we go okay now let me put him there Okay, is he there? Well, here we'll 
do a little transition. Hello, Tony. Anyway, Thank I was you. coming down. I was coming down. I was, went up to Visadero. Then I was on Pacific Heights. I was coming down from Pacific Heights. Yeah. And uh, uh, all of a sudden, I feel like my car is, I'm, I'm on a hill, so I'm applying my brakes, and my brakes aren't working. Oh, it's it's jumping? Because the car was bouncing, and I didn't realize yeah. that. And wow. it was bouncing down the street. And, and I look at the street ahead of me, and people are pouring out into the street. Now, mm -hmm. you were on the real steep part oh, wow. of the Visadero? Uh, no, the other part of the Visadero, which oh. is almost as steep, but not quite the same steepness. Yeah. You know, I think it's steeper going down into the marina than it is yeah. going down into wherever that area is below it. And uh, uh, it, it was just, you know, and uh, and also I looked at the, uh, they had overhead wires for the buses, mm -hmm. and they were swinging around like crazy. And, I, and we, mm -hmm. she and I both went, what the fuck's going on here? And I said, I think we're having an earthquake. So I said, we better go back home. So we turned around and went back up the hill and come down the hill, and we come into the marina, and all of a sudden... Uh, she says to me, gee, look over there. Uh, part of that building has come down. And I said, well, look over there. Most of that building has come down completely. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we went into the marina, and the curb was higher than it had been. And there were, oh, it was, it was terrible. So where were you again, Lee? And I was at, yeah, I was at, uh, I was at home, you know, just in, <coughs> in, in San Anselmo, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was at San Selmo at the traffic light, waiting for the car, oh. you know, waiting for the light to turn green. And suddenly, all of a sudden, the car goes... <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. And I'm like, what? piece of crap. What the... You know? <laughs> Did you live in San Anselmo? <laughs> yeah. Because that's where, that's, I, where, grew, I, that's where I grew up after we left Telegraph Hill. Oh, swell. That's where I grew up as well. Yeah. So, anyway... Oh, so you're both alumni of... Uh, what, what's the high school there that you went to? I went Shannon to Drake Sand? High School. You went to Drake. I went to Redwood. Okay. Oh. See, there was a there was kind of a choice there you had. Yeah. yeah. I had a house in Quarter Madeira, and I sold it to the principal of uh, the Catholic. Uh, what was the Catholic? Marine school Catholic. There? Marine Catholic. Yeah. And uh, nice guy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I was at the ball game, and I was walking. Yeah. Everybody out of says the they were at the ball I game, but the they ticket, weren't. And I got the mm -hmm. and I got the thing. Uh, uh, now I was walking out of the stadium, uh, club, which is the bar uh, and they have, you know, some food in the bar. And I, I was walking towards my seat and I was just coming out the door of the stadium club. Mm -hmm. it, it's like on the second floor in, in the, in the back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I saw the stanchions were, uh, these light stanchions were going, swaying back and forth. And I said, "Ah, okay, this is a good omen. You know, maybe maybe the Giants are going to win this game, and uh, you know, an earthquake." And I get down to the seat, and there's a guy sitting next to me. He's got one of those little miniature TVs, and it's the first time I've had ever seen one of those. You never saw that? No, I saw it in 1989 at the game. And so uh, he says to me, "The Bay Bridge fell." I said, nah, are you kidding me? You know, and, and I'm waiting for the lights to come on. Nothing comes on. And then, uh, you know, I said, no game. There wasn't even an announcement. It was just, uh, you know, the, the, the Everybody word says they were at the game. I don't believe it. Anyway. Not only was I at the game, my car was parked on Franklin Street in the marina. Because if there were as many people, the if there parked, was as many, as many people at that game as have said they were at that game, they I wouldn't have enough seats to fit all those people. Am I right? I Am I right, Lee? And, and you know what? That was the only one I had. My friend Paul Garvey got me the tickets. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and there was another game. Okay, uh, let's, let's, talk to, let's talk to Kevin. I bet he, was, he, he was at the game. He wasn't at the game. I was not at the game. Okay, uh, see? I was at the first two A's games. Yeah, I went to the first two A's games, and I was driving a truck over in Oakland, actually in San Leandro, and oh, I was morning. driving my truck back to the yard in San Jose, and I decided I wanted to see what was going on in San Francisco, so I took the Cypress. Oh, God. And then I drove over the Bay Bridge. Yeah. And drove 
by the stadium, and I missed both of those collapses by because what minutes. happened the Cypress wow. was this was this overhead collapsed. highway that collapsed it was a double decker highway that collapsed and, the, and you, they're very the lucky they're very lucky the, pictures, well, the, the reason why the people superior truck driver yeah, well, what that got squished in there yeah yeah well while I, for my wife that got killed in that why they say why they say that uh, uh, what happened was is they were having the World Series. And it was the A's versus the Giants. Mm -hmm. So uh, for two days, the A's would play in Oakland. And then for two days, the Giants would play in San Francisco. That day, luckily, luckily, the games were being played in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. If they had been played in in, Oakland, uh, Oakland, there would have been thousands of people dead because there would be that many cars on on the Cypress Expressway. As it was, there were hardly any. So, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, Wait a minute. What are you holding up there? Uh, see I don't know if you can see it, but there's the tickets. Oh, oh, you the, 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 oh all the tickets for the A's? Oh, yeah. oh I see. Yeah, yeah, those are the tickets proof. for the game. Proof. Where's, where's uh, Phil's proof? I Wisdom. gave it to my nephew. Oh, and my, yeah. My yeah. sister, uh, my sister uh, framed it. Uh, she framed the uh, she framed uh, the program uh, and the uh, ticket. Cousin's uh, friend. No, no. She uh, framed the program and the, the ticket. And you know a whole what? Whole bunch of pictures. I'm going to tell her to photograph it and email it to me. Uh, you know, because uh, it's down in my nephew's room. And you know that you, guy right there. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is that you? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Be quiet. <laughs> no, be quiet. That's and let crazy me, George. Wait a minute. Let me let me go to the, uh, the single there. So talk talk. Yeah. Okay. Who is who is that? Oh, you know that is that's crazy George. What do you mean crazy George? Who's what do you so, mean? Get the fans going. Oh, I don't remember crazy George? Crazy. I thought you knew crazy George. No, who's crazy George? Uh, he's that nutcase from Santa Cruz that used to run around and stir up the crowd with a with a with a tambourine and. A drum and stuff. I thought you met him when you went out there and threw the pitch. No, no, it was never. Around Billy Ball time. Never, never met him, at all. I just threw a pitch. And those were the tickets there. I, I threw a fit. That's what I threw. <laughs> I go. never got to use the rest of them because we beat their ass in four games. I see. Okay. Yeah. And it was it was actually the worst celebration because I waited for the longest time to go up and celebrate a World Series. And since the earthquake happened, mm-hmm. they were going to have a big celebration up there in Jack London Square, but the background was a cypress collapsed. Oh. So no one really wanted to go up there and you know go, oh boy, we won the World Series, oh boy. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of a bummer the whole time. What did we What did we do about the rest of the games? That wasn't the last game, was it? What it was did we the do? Third game. No, they waited ten days and then yeah, played think- two games, and it was over. Yeah. Wow. That was kind of like a. They almost were thinking about canceling. Well, remember the rumor was they were going to cancel the series. Yeah. They yeah. They were. They were. It was. They were it was talking about it for a while. The whole thing. Oh, you know, I didn't give a thing. shit because I was sitting there in the hovel known as the marina. <laughs> nice. And yeah. Comfortable. Well, that that was the problem. Is that you know it was a big thing for the Giants and the A's to actually you know finally get together in a World Series. It was a you know Bay Bridge series. It was in the Bay Area, and I bought cups and shirts and all kinds of crap i got all kinds of memorabilia from that game that yeah. series yeah and they finally did it and you know everybody was talking shit the whole week and you know for yeah. weeks everybody was talking shit and and then it finally happened and then the earthquake happened and everybody just went oh this 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 sucks you know the yeah. whole bay area was falling apart yeah and that that kind of that kind of of uh, of a series happened so infrequently I mean, I don't yeah. think I've it we never ever, did. It, it, it never has since. Has never since. Here in New York, occasionally we have the Mets against the, you know, the Yankees. But I think that's happened on a couple of occasions. I wouldn't know many because I don't have a third sports Emmy. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I, right that's, after that's the earthquake, like the, the Niners and the Raiders getting together. That that will never happen now either. Probably. Right. You know? right. Well, they it's left not, Oakland. They're in, well, they're, well, they're not there yet. They'll be in Oakland. Vegas next year, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. they're still. They're still okay. hanging on here for the time being. That yes. whole franchise has lost its identity since Al Davis left. His yep. Wait a minute. Are we like, just, they should have been in Oakland for, you know, stop a, second. <laughs> stop a second, Tony. Are we talking sports again tonight? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get you a sports guy. Boy, the franchise MC is going to hate me. 
We're going to get to a sports Emmy yet. Is it the World Series? Is it going on now? I don't even know. Not yet. The Yankees are losing right now, 6-3. But it's good. it looks like it's going to be the Astros and the Nationals. Oh, okay, okay. Really, Thanks. the Expos is now the Nationals. Paul Montreal. Because yeah. they yeah, used yeah. to be the Expos. Uh, the, okay. the Nationals aren't the Washington, D.C. team? Yeah, they, they, are. they are, but they were before that, they were the National uh, Expos. They they moved out of oh, Montreal. Who, who's in Montreal now? Nobody. It's just Toronto's playing in Canada, I believe. Oh, those are Blue Jays? Yeah. They, See, oh, I heard of them. Hey, you 49ers are 5-0. and oh. They're looking good with that defense. Yeah, uh, the They woods. can keep the 49ers and that Kaepernick, Kneeler... You oh, know, he's long gone. Yeah, well, I, I still don't like them. I haven't <laughs> oh, seen a 49 Oh, that's right. Since yes. Since Neil is considered eight. a form of respect everywhere except a football field. Yes, of course. Excellent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You no, it's a form take of him. respect to take your hat off and put your hand over your heart and stand there and uh, and listen to the anthem. He wishes Neil. Oh, okay, yes. You know. We'll, we'll the special song were... only the way you say. Uh, hey, you have you the special song a certain Lee, way? Yeah. Have you sung the anthem at, at any games? Uh, no, no. You know my plumber any... has no, at an no. A's game. Actually, no. Wait, for for maybe two or three years running, we used to play the A's opening day. Yeah. That was a hell of a. It was like in the same was stadium. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were at the at the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. I think. A typical year would be would be doing. It was like we would do Alex's show in the morning, rush to play opening day at the A's game, and then do a an a, a night show that night. We were crazy back then. We could do three shows in a day. I was like, okay. So what was a show like that you would do for, at the opening of the A's game? Was it we just were, a- we were usually we were usually the first of like. Uh, a whole day's worth of entertainment. So it happened at like uh, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, just as the stadium was opening up, people were showing up and we'd do a set. And it was oh, very so, cool. so they were watering down the field and you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh, I don't remember. It was over 20 years ago, but, um, yeah. but yeah, that's the we, we did that for like two or three years opening yeah. day. And it was a, it was a mid morning show. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been. I, I remember. The, in, is there anybody in California at this moment, or am I the only one? There's two of us. Well, yeah. Phil's there. Yeah, Phil's okay. in California, and Kevin's in California. That's right. Yeah, yeah we had a four point seven day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to bring 4. up. Four point seven. That's that's Earth pretty. Point. That's pretty yeah. severe. Well, four. And there was actually. another one. You know, I'm in Walnut Creek. I felt another one uh, last Ooh. night. Uh, well, we had one this morning too, but that was yeah. just, that was just your girlfriend kicking you out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was your girlfriend kicking you out of my bed. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> my little doggy sleeps between the two of us, yeah. and I'm always falling out of the bed because the dog will sleep across the bed. She she takes the majority of the bed. You know. Wow, wow, yeah. So anyway. your dog's doing okay, Phil. Obviously. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you didn't know she was going to die from cancer in another month or two, she is got energy and she's happy and she's playing and jumping, you know, it's uh, like, she doesn't know what's, you know, what's coming down the pike. Cancer will uh, do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's but, Hey, I'm, yes. you know, I'm getting another month or two, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, with her, you know, at least I didn't lose her. Do the you want to see her suffer, though, Phil? Mm-hmm. No, I will not let her suffer. So, I mean, there's a point at which you're probably going to have to put her down. Yeah. Uh, and I, I told her she wasn't as good as the cat. Yeah, yeah okay. I know. I know. I That's my <laughs> old joke. About yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm watching to see if she has internal bleeding again, which is what will happen with this type of cancer. And uh, also, it'll go to her lungs, and she'll have trouble breathing. And uh, if that starts, then uh, I'll I'll put her down. Yeah, it's, you it's, got to. You got to. It's, it's yeah, horrible. I don't want her to suffer. I've done it so many times. Or I've done it two times with. Uh, I've had three dogs. One dog committed suicide, but that's you know another story. Ran but, into a car. No, she drowned herself in the pool. No, oh. I uh, I don't know how you did it. Uh, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let her go in alone. 
you know, I'm going to be there with her. Oh, we and, uh, you know, so she's not scared. But I, I, I don't know. I, I can't get another dog at this point. Well, I, I, you I, know, I wouldn't. Get I don't know. Because I, I can't see how people do this. I did. It, I had to do it. It was it's the toughest thing. to That's do. because you're a killer, Tony. No, it was Alex. It was hard. It, it, I, had, I mean, it's hard. I was out of it for a while. I mean, I well, I, I just haven't gotten another cat. Because I don't yeah. want some animal that's going to look at me every morning and go, you know, I'm going to be here long after you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know the spin I put on it though when I did it I, I don't know, in my head. This is how I kind of rationalize it. We well, you know you're not going to be here forever, but just like say if I didn't adopt one of my dogs and somebody else would have got it and didn't give it a good home. Mm -hmm. So at least you gave it a good life. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah. Some people just you know. They don't even like the dog doesn't even. Well, they say that they say that one of the hardest things people have to do is to say goodbye to a pet. Oh, that that, oh, that, 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 that more so than humans. Than yeah, other yeah, human beings. I, was, I was more broken. I mean, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I mean, I miss my dad, but I remember one of my dogs died. I still get emotional about oh, it. Oh, I, I was more broken kids. up when my cat and one of my cats died. But Shabbos, who was my longest cat that I had, uh, he was about 18. I felt worse about that, I think, than I did when my mother died. I mean, when my mother died, I went, thank God, another parking place. You well, know? I remember I mean, the day I think he was wasn't driving. What would you and say? What, what, I remember wait, the wait, day. What would you say, Scott? She wasn't driving at 100. No, I know. I, I just, <laughs> it's my joke, you know. I know, but... Uh, you know, I, I mean, I was looking at her going, hey, mom, you better start getting ready to kick off because at my age, I may beat you to the grave and I don't want to do that. You know, you know, with my dog, when I was going through the operations and all of those things, I told Faye, I said, if I pass away, I want you to bring Ella and let her see me and know that I'm dead and that I didn't abandon her. You know? Yeah, oh, like wow. the dog's going to know that. That's yeah, cool, you know, I think they do. They do. Get his charge card. Yeah. Yeah. Dog really? Get his charge card. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I, I remember uh, Johnny, what's his name? The guy from BAM Magazine's, the brother of the guy that had BAM Johnny Magazine. Arrigan. Johnny Arrigan. What? Uh, Arrigan. Arrigan. Yeah, Arrigan. Arrigan. Yeah, yeah. He, he was the one that took your cat and yeah. and uh, yeah. took it to be put down because we were in your apartment in Sausalito at the time and uh, he was there Susan me and and you and that, that was, was Shabbos that, right that was the yeah. Siamese and, yeah, yeah and Johnny had the cat put down he was the one that yeah. he was the messenger of death yeah i couldn't do it i just couldn't yeah. do it it was it was so i mean just thinking about it i was getting emotional it was bad it yeah. was bad it's really bad uh, you know now i want to Throw a question out here yeah, that's very controversial. I, I wasn't going to, I wasn't thinking of bringing this up in this discussion, but I think it's important, and I think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fight like cats and dogs over this one. What's the punchline? Oh no! What's smarter, a cat or a dog? <laughs> They're different. They're different. Uh, I think cats have a survival instinct, and dogs uh, are are more obedient. But the, the cat is smarter because he doesn't do what the owner wants him to do. He doesn't give a shit. He just does what he wants. Right. Yeah, he but he's, 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 that's why he's dogs smarter. Dogs make better pets precisely because cats are smarter. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, dogs, dogs learn to do stuff. For instance, when I walk down uh, out of my apartment, I have three sets of stairs uh, to take the dog on a walk. My dog knows that he's she's to stop at the top of every uh, staircase so I can catch up with her. And, uh, you know, so I taught her. She she goes to the end of, end of the first flight of stairs. But that's not being smart. She stops. That's not being smart. Yeah. That's healing, it's called. <laughs> My healing. cats can tell time when they want to fucking eat. They come up and tell me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think my dog talks, too, you know. Yeah, uh, I'll have conversations with her in the morning. Well, I've, I felt that I, I felt that about my cat. I was saying this about Shabbos when he died. That I, after he died, I can't believe that we went eighteen years together, and he never said a word to me, because I could swear he talked to me all the time. You know, they, yeah. they have a sense though, like you know, they know. Is that pulling want. the heartstrings to the twenty-five people who are out there, two of which are me? Hi, everybody. <laughs> I just realized that when I see 25 people there, two of those are me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, I remember the blind chic cat uh, that used to pee in the toilet. And I yeah. thought that that was the most uh, the most unusual thing. I had never seen a cat get up on the toilet and pee. And and yours oh, was she not was, only yeah. blind, but yeah. could do that. Yeah. She, Mouse. Yeah. She wasn't blind when she learned to do that, but she kept uh. doing it after she got got blind. And uh, being blind, when we moved into that apartment in Sausalito, all the other cats were sniffing around trying to figure out where everything was. That cat knew everything. She's upstairs, downstairs. Right. She didn't. There was an intuition. Uh, yeah. I don't know where it comes from. You know, uh, we were thinking of cutting off her whiskers and seeing how she'd do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> which one? Which one used to poop in the tub? I took a shower. Oh, that was Shabbos. That, that was Shabbos. When I went swimming in the pool. It was Shabbos. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It was poop he always shit. He always shit in the bathtub, but at least we knew where it was. Yeah, I and, and he would pee down the drain. He would pee down the drain. Yeah, and so we'd have to remove the turds. Uh, every every now and then, I'd be <laughs> walking around the house. I pass by the bathroom and I hear thunk, thunk, thunk. <laughs> uh, it would plop down. Yeah, and you know the thing was that um, uh, I uh, we got Shabbos. Somebody, some woman said, I I just don't want this cat anymore, and so we got him at about a year. Okay. Mm. And he moved in, and immediately I knew the cat had no loyalty because as soon as she, as soon as she brought him in, she he jumped in my lap, and that was it, you know. Uh, but we got very close, but uh, he uh, kept shitting in the bathtub, and you know we'd rub his nose in it, we do all the no 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 no, and he keeps shitting in the bathtub. So about I don't know maybe a year later, we meet up with this woman. She says, "So was how's so and so?" Because he she didn't call him Shabbos, she called him something else. Uh, House Sniffles or whatever. Christmas. Yeah, whatever whatever <laughs> the name was that he, she gave him. And I, we said, oh, he's fine. She said, anything wrong with him? I said, no. Or should there be? She says, does he shit in the bathtub? And we went, oh, that. <laughs> We've gotten used to that. You know, there's no changing him from I'm shitting in the bathtub. <laughs> So the dog, the cat for, uh, you know, the 18, 17 years we had him. Uh, kept shitting in the bathtub, and we just go clean it up before we wanted to take a bath, mm. you know. Uh, yeah. But we knew where it was, you know. Uh, yeah. You didn't have that cat on 14th Street, did you? Uh, on 14th Street, yeah. Okay, because I was in that apartment, too. And uh, I had breakfast Well, you there were stalking me or something. No, nah, I met <laughs> you. I gave you a ride home. Yeah. Uh, from WPLJ. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Naomi made me breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Naomi. Yeah. I think and, she's uh, still alive. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where that cunt is now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she was pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, that was her. Pro that was the problem. She was hot. You know, uh, I, I met her one day because I saw her at a party that we were having for WPLJ. We had a after show party for the, I think the Allman Brothers, because we did a live concert with them. And I saw this woman across the room. And uh, I said, that's hot. I would love to go out with her. But I'm a very shy guy, and I just didn't have the guts to even approach her. Okay? A couple of days later, I get a call at home, and it's this woman saying, you Alex Bennett? And I said, yeah. She says, I got your number from somebody who knows you. Uh, my name's Naomi. Uh, uh, I, I saw you at the party the other night and I said, oh, which one were you? And she said, and she described herself and I went, it's the, it's the blonde, you know, it's, it's her, you know? And so we started dating and that was the worst thing that ever happened to me. You know, that was, I think I remember that. <laughs> no, you couldn't have remembered that because no, you didn't. it was 1973 or something. Huh? Oh, it was three? It was like okay. 1973. Late seventy two, early seventy three. Oh no, the uh, the other one you you know. The other one, yes. The, the other one, the one, the San Francisco heartbreaker. That's the one. Yeah, but no, this one, this one was just this was like a relationship from hell, you know. Okay. I mean, uh, I was there. The other one. Yeah. And what happened was here, 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 here is how fate. If I just played it differently, life would have been better for me. She comes over to my place. When she says, okay, you know, I saw you at the party, I wanted to, would you like to come over? Yeah, come over, all right, fine. She shows up with a guy, another a guy brings her. 
I'm figuring, what is she, fucking hooker? You know, this is her <laughs> pimp. And he's, got, and, he, and he's carrying some suitcases for her, and she brings the suitcases in. What are you moving And I go, in? what are you doing, moving in? And she says, oh, no, I'm moving to Boston tomorrow. Oh, my God. She said, so I thought I'd spend the night here and we could kind of have a nice time. So all oh, night man. long we fucked like <laughs> bunnies, I guess. Or whatever you fuck like. I forget now at my age. Uh, the other guy was just carrying the and we were we just fucked all night long. And finally it's seven o'clock in the morning. She says, Oops, gotta make a bus at eight. And so I said, Well, nice to meet you. She says, Fine, you know. And she says, uh, I'm moving to Boston and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. And she leaves. She took a bus all the way to Boston? Yeah. Oh, yeah well, those were good Lord. Those well, were just a four hour ride. Those were hippie days. Okay. Oh. You were in New York? Yeah. Or, oh, I thought you were in uh, California. Oh, oh no. I, I, oh, if if I, she were in California, I would have driven her there. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My mistake. I, I don't know where you were in 73. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I, uh, I, uh, 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 she goes to Boston. I figure that's the last I'm ever going to see of her. I get a call from her. Hi, Alex. I'm here in Boston. I miss you. Well, I miss you, too, because I'm thinking of all that hot super sex we had, right? Yep. And so, um, so I, uh, I go up to Boston to see her for a weekend, and we, again, fuck like bunnies, right? You know, like crazy. And uh, I'm, I kiss her goodbye, and I leave, and I go back to New York, and I figure that's it. And I get a call, and she says, guess what? I said, what? I'm moving back to New York. Oh, God. Okay. Did you get sick? So she moved back to New York and moved in with me, and the rest is history. It was the worst fucking relationship I've ever had in my life. How long did she live with you? Uh, long enough that she wound up in a mental hospital at one point. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! What, what's the real? What did she do for a living? Oh, what's, the cra what's the crazy? What's the What's the crazy house here in New York? Uh, Bell Bellevue. Bellevue. She, uh, yeah, she was Bellevue. in Bellevue. She oh, went to oh, yeah. Jesus. Uh, Alex, enough plastic forks. What what did she do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, what? Did, how did she support no, herself? How did she, she support herself? Or? No. No, she lived with me. Uh. <laughs> and then know? and then she wound up uh, she wound up on the National Lampoon Radio Dinner album with me. Oh, wow. uh, and she they kind of excised me from most of the uh, album, but she got a big part. You know, so she's on that album. And they, if you ever get a copy of the original Double Fold album on that, there's a picture of the two of us together. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you might be able to get that on eBay. Naomi R. Page was her name. Alex, I'm not making fun of anybody but with a mental problem, but did you? when did you start saying, wow, she's crazy? I didn't say, wow, she's crazy. She just wound no, up yeah, in the mental hospital no one day, and I said, she must be crazy. Oh, okay. I, was gonna... I can't remember why she wound up there. That Infinite. I can't remember. Yeah, probably having to deal with me. I would imagine. <laughs> you know, girlfriend better run. Hmm? What did you say? I said girlfriend better run. Uh, yeah, before she winds up in Bellevue. Yeah, no, it's not, she, I'll wind up in what? Bellevue before her. You know, but anyway, no meeting to the the term you fucked her brains out. <laughs> well, that, that that's true. That's true. Uh, but it, it, you know, it was it was an amazing uh, uh, situation. I think she, at one point she had gone with um, Dwayne Allman before really? I met him. Really? Share yeah. right? Yeah. Well, no, that was Greg Allman. Oh, Greg Allman. D Dwayne Allman's the one that died first. Oh. Okay. Uh, because he wanted to. Yeah, I guess. I don't know <laughs> if she's still alive or not. I guess she is. I guess I'll find out when she decides to sue me for what I said tonight. <laughs> that's a, you know that's a funny thing you said though. Like my mom would get me older too. Now we're trying to track down some of our old friends in the address books. Who we're calling people up randomly. Mm -hmm. So she did call up her friend Jeannie who lives in Long Island, mm -hmm. and she, we found out that two people. In the same year, died like my dad, like two other people she knew. So you're right. You start finding out who is not around anymore. Like, you know, how you doing? Stuff like that. It's kind of, you're right. It's sad when you start finding out who's not well, around. Well, I'm, I'm getting very depressed lately because a lot of the people that I know 
are dying. Okay, uh, and and um, uh, lots and lots of people I know are dying. In fact, you well, know, don't feel bad, Alex. A lot of people you don't know are dying too. Yeah, you know something. Uh, now that you, you make you, you put you put a good spin on that, uh, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> people I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I didn't stop to think about that. Um, but anyway, so I, you know, I'm I'm getting very depressed about death looming, you know. And and the thing is that yeah, I've lived this long, and now I can look at it and say, boy, I don't have many years left. But the fact is that people die at much younger years. Like yeah, look at Elijah <laughs> Cummings today, seven, 60, 68. 68 years old. Okay, yeah, right. uh, good, good. Uh, Twelve years younger than me. That's yeah. a long time. He only got full Social Security for two years, and then boom. You bad you know, addition. I'm going to collect uh, early. Uh, collect that, yeah, I'm going to collect this. I'm going to. I'm not but waiting. You never know. What? As soon as I can collect Social Security, I'm going to take my money. Whether I, you know what? I don't even care. I'm not going to wait. Yeah, take it now. <laughs> so you're going to lose. You're going to lose a percentage of it. Who I don't cares? remember what I, I, I took it early. I took it early, and I've I've I'm come out ahead girl. now. Let's say let's say I didn't yeah. take it early, and let's say I died five years ago. The government would be ahead. Yeah, you know. Uh, I so don't think you'd have anything you know to worry about. This is one of the like eighty two is the crossover point, I believe. Was sixty you know two? Eighty two, I think, is oh. the crossover. Is that the, is that the crossover? If you do it at sixty two, sixty two versus seventy. 62 versus 70? With 70, you get like, what is it, 108% or 134%? It's no, it's 30%, I think. 130? 30% if you wait till you're 70. 8% per year, whatever that works out to be. Yeah. I'm going to take it at 66. Well, I was broke Fuck. I was broke at the time. It yeah. wasn't working. Oh, yeah. So well, I take it. So I took it, you know. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. I get a nice, I get a, it's a, about 2000 a month, you know. I actually think they and should then I've got my thousand dollars a month from after it. You know, so I was born in '54, so I have to wait till '66. But I'm still working, and if I took it at '62 or any time up to '66, uh, it, based on the amount of money that I earn, I wouldn't see anything from the Social Security. So there was there was no benefit in taking it. What do you, uh, what do you mean you wouldn't see anything? Uh, because every Two dollars you make over, I think it's seventeen thousand yeah, dollars. Like uh, you lose a dollar in Social Security benefits. So at my current income, I would see nothing. Well, also, if I let's say I started working, let's say I was working and I was making a yeah. hundred grand a year, I my my uh, you know Social Security would keep going up. Yeah, right. so because After, you're seventy. Yeah, yeah. When you're when you're sixty five for your date of birth. You get the Social Security and there's no penalty. Right. right. Uh, I have to wait till 66, and others I think have to wait even longer. But right. uh, you know, depending on what year they were born. Anyway, I'm happy. You know, I didn't. I, you know, I, 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 you know. So I at least I I keep saying I'm. Gee, I contribute nothing financially to this family, and then I remember I got I bring in about six uh, three thousand dollars a month. Well, you know. What, now, what happened when you were working for Sirius? Your income would have oh, it was after you were sixty two. How long were you I was working at Social Sirius Security? and getting Social Security? The same. Yes, thing. but how old? How how many years did you collect Social Security until you started getting a larger income? Uh, a couple of years. Just two. Yeah. So so at sixty four, you got hired by Sirius. Yeah, it's just 64. Yeah, I think it was 64. So yeah. did they penalize you at all for taking so, uh, the early Social Security and having a greater income than no, no. than the amount? No? No. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a new they deal. Did. I, I yeah. didn't you know. just didn't know it. Huh? You, you, no, uh, I would have been told it by my business manager. Gary would have told me. He was ripping you off anyway. You don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. He was he was pocketing the difference anyway. Oh, I you know, see. Okay. You yeah, right. have no idea how much money you had because he took it all. Yeah. Was only what five percent? Uh, the what? Or, I I remember when you first hired Gary, uh, and I thought it was like five percent you were paying him to handle Damn, your stuff. That's crazy. I'm trying to remember how much I was. I don't pay him that anymore. I, he just does my taxes every year, and I 
pay him a nice chunk of money for that. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, um, but he also produced a lot of my shows and took money from that. He, he made, made, made a lot of money out of me. You know, at one time, I was a good earner for the mob. Yeah. You know, so whatever. You could have been on The Sopranos as a good earner. I could have been on The Sopranos, yeah. So, uh, Lee, uh, where are you working? Anything? Uh, any doing any gigs? I can show you the CD now. I finally got it back. Here oh. it is, right here. Oh, that looks good. good. Very nice. <laughs> Very Chains nice. Down, right there. Ooh. Now, if you if you uh, Please send, press on M nails. If you send Alex a copy, maybe he. Oh no, he can't play it because it's songs. No, he that, can't play it. <laughs> yeah. He can talk about it though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 however, use. however, is it available on iTunes? Yes. Oh, it is. Yes. It will be on uh, on the on the twenty fifth is the is the is the official release. However, uh, are I can you having you a release, that, Alex? If you shoot me a line, are you having a release party? Yes, on the twenty sixth of uh, this month, we will be on the USS Hornet in Alameda. Really? Yes. So what Aircraft kind of music is it? What kind of music do you a, play? It's a swing. I got a I got a ten piece big band. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so on the USS Hornet, we're going to have our okay, big Okay, so can, tell us what some of the numbers are on that album, on that CD. Okay. No. Well, One, let's see. We two, with, uh, three. I got quite a few, yeah. Uh, Grim Grinning Ghosts, the Haunted Mansion uh, theme from Disneyland. We're doing that. Yeah. We got, uh, I like that. Let's right. see. Songs you know. We're doing Powerhouse, Raymond Scott. Right, Raymond, Raymond Scott. Scott. I love that. Album. Yeah. Uh, uh, Duke Ellington, The Mooch. We're doing a, a Pennsylvania 65000. Of course, we changed it a little bit. We've got Istanbul on here, which is... Oh, Istanbul, not politically Constantinople. ...in the past four days. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. By the way, that was one of my... <laughs> man, let me tell you something. That was my, one of my favorite records when I was a kid. Because my father... my I, was, I don't know where I got it. Either my father had it or my, mother, my grandmother gave it to me or whatever. Uh, but I had a copy of the original 78 of Istanbul... Not con it's in St Istanbul, not Constantinople. It's Istanbul. That's the one. Const that's when Istanbul, Constantinople became Istanbul. And then I had another yes. song, I had another record called Constantinople, in which they spelled it out on the record. C O N S T B N N whatever. Have you ever heard that song? Constantinople with a C and an O and an N and a B whatever. Yeah. I can't spell it unless I ask Siri. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Echo? Spell Constantinople. Constantinople is spelled C O N S T A N T I N O P L E. See? All right. See? And, 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 and by the way, by the way, by the, by the way, Constantinople. C O N S T A N T I N O P L E. I-N-O-P-L-E-S. <laughs> <laughs> and mine has, a, however, Echo has a picture of Constantinople. Oh, now I, I said Echo, and it's... Okay. <laughs> Echo? Didn't work. Spell shit. I'd rather not answer that. And say, what ha I'll tell you what happened. You remember your little thing about jack off? Yeah. Well, last week, Jack was off. Yeah. And so I put on my calendar, Jack <laughs> off. Yeah. Right? Tuesday, I, Thursday, I, Friday, Saturday. And, 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 oh, you're now, wrong. Now, what happens You're on the is, subway, and Siri reminded you, Jack off. Well, no, what happens is. <laughs> don't forget on, Jack off. <laughs> on my, hey, uh, don't take a plane and say don't hi, forget. Jack. <laughs> on my, on my ECHO. Uh, uh, it says what my uh, appointments are, and that was on my calendar, and so it came up, clock, and on. it was it was Jack uh, Jack asterisk asterisk F. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't reminding you you needed the Jack off. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. You know. Uh, well, uh, hold on a second. Echo is Jack off. Hmm, I don't know that. No, oh, okay. All right. All right. I'd, li I'd like to hear your uh, watch on the subway say, Hey, Alex, it's time to jack off. 
<laughs> but no, it, it, all it says is. It's 11:41. <laughs> oh, you got it fixed. Yeah, I got it fixed. They they fi actually they <clears throat> fixed it. They did an upgrade on this. Okay. Yeah. Um, ten o'clock at ten o'clock. But I'm telling you, oh, Apple <laughs> Apple is having all kinds of problems lately. I mean, yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes, Are you having troubles that too? Last, uh, that last update really sucks. It's horrible. You, you, yeah, uh, I, wait a minute. I just wait a minute. Do you have a Mac? Do you have a Mac, Scott? People. What? Do you have a Do you have a Mac, Scott? I have a Mac and an iPhone, and now when I'm doing my calendar, it's just like. <clears throat> so confused and everything. Uh, I've got one thing where I actually put a thing on for my appointment for my dentist today, which was at uh, two one o'clock and uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, and it said it was eleven o'clock. I don't know how that happened. Was it different time zone? And I couldn't change it. Couldn't change it. Nothing. It's eating uh, up my iPad battery like a mother. Really? Uh, oh yeah. And with Marjorie, she's getting these things that have been saying ever since the second update uh, for the uh, for the iPhone and, and on her watch and on the iPhone that uh, her Apple ID for uh, uh, her uh, uh, what do you call it uh, Earthlink account, right? you know her OK Mills at Earthlink dot net uh, needs a needs a password. That's for her for her Mac ID. But her Mac ID isn't that. Her I Mac think, ID is know, something maybe else. She's altogether. got another Mac ID that she didn't realize no, she has. No, we. Can I say something? Yeah. I know you love Apple and they're nice. And I tell you something. I'm not trying to. I hate good fucking good. Apple. But I'm going to tell you something because you would like the new Microsoft operating system on the surface. It's, I, I it's have, like face recognition. There's no passwords. You get right in. I have. I, I have. Uh, I have Windows here. I mean, it, it, I really, my brother bought this. I'm loving it. I he's thought got I a Surface. Like and like he's, uh, oh, the Surface is really nice. I'm going to go over Shecky's soon. I'm going to bring it over to show him. It's nice. I could even watch, like, my little movies, my Netflix. I love it. And it's so light. You just flip it I down. I can watch all that on my iPad. I don't know. Maybe for your birthday you get a Surface. No, I don't want it. I got an <laughs> iPad. So how, much, how much does a Surface cost, Tony? How much does it run, well, you know? I think the one he got me is probably like fifteen hundred because he upped the memory to fifteen fucking hundred dollars. I have yeah, an iPad that only costs. But cost... you get one for under a thousand. Well, I got That's my iPad expensive. for a hundred dollars. Yeah, it is expensive. It's part yeah. of a deal. I I like it. I I got an iPad Pro and I think it was a lot. It was almost as much as uh, the Surface. Uh, maybe it was thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah, but you got an iPad Pro. It's huge. Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. like it? Surface. Huh? Uh, it's too big. It's too big. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of a Chromebook. That's what I'm thinking of. Those are yeah. cheap. Yeah, yeah, those are cheap. Never mind. Yeah, the iPad Pro that I have, it's the 12 inch or something. Uh, it's um, it's it's too big. Uh, yeah, I wish I like it was a little in the small. beginning, but it just got bigger. It just seemed like it got too big. Yeah. And I carry it in my briefcase, but I'm always forgetting to charge it. So I've got this dead iPad Pro in the briefcase. <laughs> it's, a it's, like, it's like a boat anchor. Yeah. 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 I've got some troubles here. What is my problem? Oh, oh man. God. River. He just keeps <laughs> rolling. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. I'm just, there's always something going wrong here that I've got. To, oh, okay. I hope everybody, uh, yeah, everybody's still there. Was I just seen trouble? Oh, he's playing the thing. I remember that toy as a kid. Remember they used to hit those? Oh, things? oh you got one of those little uh, kid xylophones there. It's just one of my many toys that I play with here. It's a you said xylophone. It's you're putting on the, put the ritz. No, that's Constantinople. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sorry. And, and, and now, of course, uh, YouTube will say, I'm sorry, that's a royalty uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. You know. You yeah. Know this much. But I don't think. Uh, they, not a couple of bars. I, I don't <laughs> think they would notice it because he's playing it. Okay. Yeah, it's up to. First thing, first thing the copyright bots do is they scan all previously known recorded material. And if they can't find any matches, they go, oh, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
But I've been fighting yeah. them every time they've, they've hit me with one of those things. The other day they hit me with something because I played the uh, uh, the video of... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the, the Russian the, president. The, the, oh, the Russian, Ukrainian, the Russian president. Ukrainian president playing the piano with his dick. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, he really was. Oh, so Pat, he did yes. it on a, yes, some yes, talent. looks yes. like he was. And, and I got a thing saying, I'm sorry, but that material is being... And I said, hey, I, I wrote it. I put in a protest. I played it because it was, you know, what fair it use. was and that it was up for discussion and it's fair use. And within, I guess, less than a day, I got a thing back saying, congratulations, you can run it. Yeah. That's usually the way it works. But Start I don't, again, because I missed it. But I don't it's wanna, all automated, and then you say, hey, wait a minute, and then they have to go and look at it and go, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, right. I took it off my computer. I'd play it for you right now. Scott. Oh, no, that's okay. That happens Nothing to me all likes... the time. I get hit with a copyright claim, and I have to write them back and go, hi, yeah, this is my band, and we paid to have this. You know, This is what we do. And they go, oh, okay, fine. You can, you can do it. Not, do you pay to play that music? Yeah, well, we we pay the copyright fees like any other band. Yeah. So what do you do? You pay BMI or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, all part. Of, it's all part of getting you know get the get everything ready, get all the graphics package ready, fill out all the paperwork. Make so sure do you, you have do you have an, an agreement with BMI for uh, all the packages, or do you no, he just did, he, yes. pick? individual it's per, things it's a per song thing yeah i gotta set up set everything up beforehand and they get 12 cents of every song sold hmm. yeah wow. and that goes to the writer no oh, it's up to 12 cents now huh? yeah it's up to 12 now is He's that 12 cents per penny. song on the album of which there are maybe 12 songs <laughs> mm -hmm. it, there are 12 how many songs are on the album I got fifteen songs on this album, and so each one of them get twelve cents, or they... each one of them get twelve cents. Wow! So <laughs> when you so... sell it, or when you play it, <laughs> when you sell it. So yeah. that means you have to sell the CD for how much? Uh, more than twelve cents. Well, that's per for song. damn sure per, per song. Well. Wow, well, that's a lot. Fifteen songs. Well, that's fifteen. I'm going to have to sell. I'm going to have to oh, charge. Oh, maybe $1. three, $4 four dollars for these seven. things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, I've got a problem with. Uh, I would love to get the rights to play music, uh, but I don't have any. Um, I don't. I you know. I don't have any. Uh, I don't make any money off this show. I don't have any commercials or whatever. I should be able to yeah. get some kind of a flat rate, like five hundred a year or something, and you know, play anything you want to, as long as there are no commercials on your podcast. But no, that's not the way it goes. If you go and look at the situation. It's so complicated that I would have to get a lawyer to figure it out. Do you have to keep a log if you did that? No, not necessarily. But I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, you know. Yeah, I haven't I haven't put out a I haven't put out a CD in twenty years, and it's a lot more complicated now than it was last time I did this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop doing what, this. We're down to why, twenty the people. Last one seventy eight RPM. We're down mm -hmm. to 20 Was people the last watching one 78 this. RPM. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a CD, so it's 500 RPM. Well, that's because you need to play more music, Alex. Yeah, right. They're tw down to 20 you people. Know, what, usually what, what, when, usually we've been getting Alex, 35, 40. We've been get, really getting up there. And tonight it's like 20. Is What's happening out there? Anything <laughs> I don't know about? Uh, well, the Yankees are losing, so you might have lost people with baseball. Um, I don't know. I know it, Rob loves the Yankees. He's probably it was a football game tonight too. Checky's you know, probably upset too. They get wasted. Uh, is it just me, or is the YouTube feed not clear? It, it looks like it's all out of focus. No, it's fine here. Oh, I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's fine here. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's because all the people are at the Trump rally. Yeah, only in Texas. Again, yeah. he's got another rally. <laughs> Every night, a fucking rally. This guy. Yeah. He's in Dallas. Tony. He loves to hear himself. They were lined up around the block for when three did, days. When does he have? For, what, my, is my, question is, my question is: well, my question is, is when does he have time to be president? He doesn't. You know? He doesn't. He doesn't do that. He doesn't care about that shit. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. I mean. I mean. When. When does he? When, when is he going to do something about this? You know. When is he going to be president? He got us out of a long-term war. You know. He didn't get yeah, us he, out of he, anything. <laughs> he got us in and the war. Our, and our. Fighting men didn't get hurt. 
they were only so a handful over them over there anyway. Twenty six, I think. Twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, he really saved a lot of lives, didn't he? Yeah. Can you imagine if they got killed during the uh, assault? What would have happened? You know, they they would have had to declare but war. Did I read on today Turkey? that uh, 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 Scott may, and then, may know and this? And if they declared the whole, uh, war on for, Turkey, forget it. Don't give us one of your preachments. Uh, no, Scott, be no Scott, more Scott, cranberry sauce Scott, and stuffing. Scott, do I know? Did I hear this right today? That Trump ordered the bombing of our site in uh, in yeah. Syria. Yeah, yeah, we had to bomb our own embassy to keep. They were uh, bombing the old U.S. bases. Yeah. yeah, over there. So Even the Republicans were complaining so about them. that one. Yeah, yeah, because they didn't want the uh, the ISIS or the, the R- Russians or the Turkey. They didn't want the Russians get all their so food. We had yeah. to get out of there so fast that we left weapons behind. So of course, we had to bomb the bomb them. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, mean, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Sh- all of this makes yeah, sense, Phil. Yeah, makes Absolutely. Sense. Well, this no, whole administration just when, makes sense completely. When Obama pulled out of Iraq, he left all of those weapons, and they were picked up by the ISIS fighters, and, uh, you know. And, yeah, and blame Obama for that stuff. that was George Bush. Hey, Obama no, isn't fucking Obama. president anymore. This moron is, okay? He couldn't have been George Bush. He's white, right? Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. It, it was it was Obama who pulled the uh, pulled back on the troops. Uh, yeah. You know, had a timetable, so he pulled back and he left uh, all those weapons for uh, the ISIS fighters to pick up. Yeah. yeah. They've picked up caches of money and and things no. like that. I, I think I think You're I'm thinking different. of the uh, Bush number one in Co- in Kuwait. He left all the stuff for the. Uh, for the uh, who took over then? Uh, the Kuwaitis? No, it wasn't the Kuwaitis. It was Saddam Hussein and uh, against the Kuwaitis then. They left a lot of stuff and 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 they took the guns away from the. I don't. I, I forget. Oh no, they they left the uh, Red Brigade, not Red Brigade, <clears throat> whoever the fighting force was for Saddam Hussein. They let them keep their guns, but they fired them. Yeah, uh, I remember and so that. So they became the anim- or the uh, an insurgent group or something. Yeah, yeah. they weren't know. happy. No, nah. but they had their guns. But no bullets. <laughs> what? What are you playing? What are you playing? <laughs> uh, what, what's that? The something of the. The right of the Valkyries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just putting in some fitting music. Po- Apocalypse Now. Right. Oh, also, oh, it is Christ. kill that the rabbit, be- kill the rabbit, <laughs> kill the rabbit. <laughs> that was from the Warner Brothers cartoon. Apocalypse Now was the first $5 movie I ever went to. You know, when movies got to be $5, I said, this is crazy. And I and I said I'm not going to see Apocalypse now because it's five dollars. And uh, now look at them. Yeah. But you can get a mag name by me for eight bucks. Yeah. Wait, well, wait, I'm wait, a wait, wait, let's now. hear let's hear what Lee is playing. <laughs> R- Lee, keep playing. <laughs> I I'm just making this stuff up here. There, it's legally dissimilar to what I'm trying to play. <laughs> well, it might increase uh, the uh, people viewing if you had a cat in the picture. Hmm? You know, we have know. we have the lowest amount of people watching us that have ever have watched us in years, right now, and I have no idea why. Hmm. You know, so, um, so maybe I'll maybe I what I well uh, the show's almost over anyway. Otherwise, I would just cut the video feed out and say fuck you. Okay. You know. But then that wouldn't be anybody on the that, YouTube. That wouldn't be what? Is there anybody on the YouTube commenting? Oh, yeah. I, I I can't. No, not really. Uh, no, nothing. no. I think okay. the last one. It's uh, just us. Yeah, but I mean the, the video's out there. You know, it's running. So, Hi. So who knows? Who knows? Who ah, knows? fuck them. Oh, now it's down yeah. to 17. They were, fuck, you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What? Let's try and get rid of it's everyone. Blurry. Let's try and get rid of everyone. Everyone stop watching us right now. Let me see if yeah. it starts going Look, down. Uh, I guess you can't tell it's blurry. 
What? Mm-hmm. What's uh, the, the video feed? What? <laughs> uh, you know, it's not blurry on Skype. Yeah. No, I got a beautiful hey. picture coming in on Skype here. But yeah. I've got 17 people, two of which are me, and one of mm. which is Phil. Yeah. So <laughs> that means that we got, uh, in re- 15. reality, 15 people watching us right now. Yeah. So 14. Yeah. They can watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, give them the finger. Everybody, give them the finger. <laughs> Give him the finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the one, Jeff. Maybe two. Yeah, what? Yeah. Trump yeah. is number one. Number one. <laughs> number number one. one. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. Water boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me see here. Anything else that we... Uh, come on, folks. Stop watching. I want to see if we, I want to see if I can get this down to just the people that are Let online right now. You huh? know, if you tell them to stop <laughs> watching, they're going to start watching. You know. Please. Oh, oh, you gave them the moon. I yeah. would, but I don't want to get Alex into YouTube trouble. Uh, oh, I don't think that would get me in YouTube trouble. Not your ass. <laughs> no. no. What? Not my ass? No, no. Maybe if you were a buxom young woman, you it would. You know. Oh, okay. But. Uh, you know, we're not. Let's see here. What time is it getting to be? It's about time. To You've start got three minutes left. Minute. No, uh, it's, it's it's time for me to hit this. Yeah. Oh man, to hit this. There we go. The theme. That's the theme. Fuck all of you. Okay. Join in, Lee. You can do the theme. Maybe more. Now more are watching. I asked people to sign out, and more are starting to watch. Well, they're waiting for Jack's show. They're waiting for Jack's show, and there is no Jack's show. He's Jack off. There is no Jack shit. Oh. All right. Anyway. Hey, listen. Thank you uh, to everybody. Thank you to Phil Meyer. Thank you to Lee Presson. Uh, buy his album. Uh, uh, well, he'll be back on, Last I'm sure. On 25th. Yeah, we'll be sure to be here before then just to plug it like crazy because all 18 people will go out and buy it. Um, <laughs> How do you on the Hornet? Don't you have to uh, go on a tour or something to get Scott on the Hornet? Scott Boddicker, <laughs> goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Kevin. We really appreciate it. And if all of you would be give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a wave goodbye back. Okay? There they go, folks. Okay, that's it for tonight. That's all she wrote here on the program. I got to do a little change there. Let me see here. Let me get rid of our citizen panel. Hang up on them. I don't have to make the lines ready for Jack because, well, there ain't no Jack tonight, folks. But there we will run a rerun of Jack in a few moments if you if you stick around. Uh, let me see here. I don't want. I want to quit Skype. A sign out. There we go. I want, no, I don't want to sign out. No, that's not what I want. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. I can't do anything right anymore. Hold on a second. I'm going to sign back in. Sign in or create. Sign in. Gabnet Live. <laughs> L-I-V-E. And then I go, uh, uh, let's see here. There's the password. Okay. See, there are two things here. There's sign out, and there's, uh, so, uh, well, hold on a second. Wait till I get this to come up. Here, no, I don't want to update the profile. Skip, skip, and skip. See, it's like I'm starting up again. Uh, find contacts easily? No. Okay. Anyway, I just want, to, okay, now we're up. See, then I, what I got to do is I got to go to uh, Skype, and then I got to, got to go to uh, uh, quit Skype. You know, this is not very intuitive, folks. Anyway, hey, that's it. That's all she wrote. We'll have more of this again tomorrow, I think. Same time, same station in life. Thank God Jack isn't next for all the time I took there at the end. Uh, we'll, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.